couple weeks ago I asked about glutathione and I was asking at the time about the, like, was there a better tasting one, the liposomal glutathione and unanimously you all informed me there was not. Thank you. Uh Um, But then you said something at the end of that, like maybe about pill form glutathione. Yeah. And you said something like, I thought you said something like if you're taking it for digestive or GI issues, it's all going to the same place. So it doesn't matter if it's liposomal or thought or not. Am I repeating that correctly? Yeah. So the, the conversation is what's your treatment target? So if you're wanting systemic levels, liposomal is better for that because you're holding it in the mouth, hits oral circulation and goes that way. Um, If you're trying to hit systemic and you swallow it, it's going to be broken down in the gut and have to be reconstructed. So less is going to make it systemic. But if you're, if you're trying to treat the gut, then yeah, you just throw it down there. You throw it in the gut. Well, I was asking for myself more from just to like, I'm tired. I'm run down. I'm going in a hundred directions. I'm, you know, more as like a overall, not to be run down. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like liposomal is my way to go, but yeah. what, what, is, what do you take glutathione for, for the gut? I mean, in a, in a 30 second answer, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, the gut barrier. So barrier systems require glutathione for their integrity. So if you're, if you're, and at pretty much our lives suck our, glu- like deplete our glutathione. Okay. Um, so if, if some like leaky gut glutathione is going to be key there because glutathione is helpful for barrier integrity. And so that would be just one reason gut wise to take glutathione. Um, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're, um, I mean, if you're consuming any food, I mean, we're all consuming foods that have glyphosate as part of it glyphosate's roundup basically it's an herbicide and an antibiotic so it's going to mess our gut up you know so if we have glutathione ready to try and neutralize as much as that as possible as it enters you know it'd be a good thing to have there as best we can you know and and don't forget we're making glutathione but there's there's glutathione recycling and all these different processes there's genetic variants to it all so you know if you're having gi issues um you're likely to benefit from it. And then glutathione, you know, so you can take it. Glutathione is glutamine, cysteine, and glycine, the three amino acids. So, you know, if you take oral glutathione, you're throwing it down, it's going to be broken up into those three amino acids and then put back together in the GI tract and and used there or sent elsewhere. Uh, usually the limiting factor of the three is cysteine, which is the sulfur-based amino acid. So that's NAC. If you take NAC, NAC promotes glutathione. That's, that's how is it's providing cysteine availability to go with the pretty much widely available in our lives, glutamine and glycines. Okay. So that's, that's, that's why NAC leads to glutathione production. Um, But there's various, you know, there's, there's individual differences in how well you make that conversion and blah, 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 blah there. So, um, so the brassica family vegetables, brassica family veggies are high in sulfur. So the broccolis and cabbage and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts, and those things are, are high in sulfur. So they're providing that sulfur base that we need to make glutathione. So if we're not eating sulfur-based foods and we're not supplementing, then we're, you know, we're kind of scraping the barrel and being able to have our bodies master antioxidant. Okay, cool. So so more than you wanted to know probably, but that's there. Um, And then I think, I I think your intuition is correct that probably you do better with just hitting this, a, a systemic liposomal one at first. And, um, because it will more quickly and readily go where you need it. And you might not know where you need it better than, you know, your body does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Mm Mm-hmm.